does it do that? Hey guys, it's Michael. Have you ever had one of those weeks where you were just sick and tired of your hair? You couldn't afford a haircut, but you could afford some clippers? That was me this week. That doesn't happen to me very often. Last time that happened to me, I think was um, in 2000, 2000, 2000, somewhere around there. It was the last time I shaved my head. So this is a first for a lot of people out there seeing me like this. Um, a lot of people I know near and dear have never seen me like this. I wanted to talk about something serious today too. A lot of hubbub going on about the healthcare situation and if we're going to do something in this country to give everybody health care and all that. And I'm really disheartened by some of the things I'm seeing out there. There's a lot of healthy young people who are pissed off and don't want to pay for other people's health care. In my opinion, healthy people really shouldn't, shouldn't have much to say about health care. This is what I want to pose to you guys. I want to get somebody out there, anybody who's been in a situation where they've had themselves or somebody in their family who has had some kind of long-term illness, you know, something that lasts for years, something that requires medication for years, something that requires medical care, physical therapy, things like that. I want a comment from somebody um, who's been in that situation who has had the insurance companies help them, who has had the insurance companies pay their claims without a hassle, without a fight. I want to see if I can get at least one comment from someone, I mean, someone who's really been through it. So I'm talking about things that don't go away with uh, two pills and call me in the morning. I want to hear from you. I've had an illness for 18 years now and I have never had a good experience with the insurance company. Let me give you a little background. My illness is called juvenile dermatomyositis and what it does, your immune system starts identifying your muscles as if they're foreign in your body and it just starts fighting them off. So my immune system f was fighting my muscles and killing them off so I was so weak I could barely walk. My doctor wanted to send me home with a walker to help me so I wouldn't trip and fall and break a bone or something. Insurance company said, no, you can't have a walker. You don't need a walker. Physical therapy. They look at it like physical therapy. You get it for a month, then you're all better and you don't need it ever again. That's how the commercial insurances look at it from you. And I want to hear what you have to say about how the insurance companies helped you out and made sure that you were in good health. They don't even want to cover the medication. When I first was in the hospital, this is what happened. I got a rheumatologist to diagnose me and start giving me proper care. And I wasn't in the hospital for a couple of days before the insurance doctor came in, didn't look at me at all, just looked at my chart real quick and said, okay, he's good, he can go home. Now mind you, I was on high doses of intravenous steroids, high doses, I'm talking 90 milligrams for those of you who know what prednisone is. 90 milligrams of prednisone. I, I I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself. I was just coming back from dying because I was. I was literally dying. Okay? And this doctor said, oh, he can go home. His mom can take care of him. I think that happened like a day before my birthday because I went in the hospital like three days before my 13th birthday. And the people in need should be the ones who speak up because People who aren't in need don't feel the need for it, don't think they should pay for anybody else to have it. But what do you do? What, what do you do with, with people who are paraplegic and can't even feed themselves? You just throw them by the roadside and wait for them to die because you don't want to pay for them to get proper health care? And if you are healthy and you're watching this, know that if you ever have something serious happen to you that takes a long-term health care, you will be denied. I can understand why people are pissed off for that they have to support people who are just lazy and don't want to work or whatever. I, I get that. I understand that. You know, we're going to have those people. Those people are going to learn how to take advantage of the system and they're going to take advantage of the system no matter what is offered. But people like me, people like you, people like us, we need to get it working properly. And healthy people, don't count all your chickens in one basket before they hatch because anything can happen.
any point in your life, you can boom be di diagnosed with a with a serious illness that puts you out, makes it so you can't work. And then when you're not working, you can't even pay the medical insurance anyway. And you have it, and for the time period that you do have it, they will deny you, and they will deny you till you don't have it. They'll deny you till you give up. Now, I'm not just shitting bricks for you. I don't even think that makes sense, but that's just expensive. And I had medical insurance. How many people are unlucky? How many people have died because of insurance companies? How many people have suffered longer than they needed to because of insurance companies? How many people have had to fight and fight and fight the insurance company just to get some proper health care? Below, I, I would like to hear from other people who have had to deal with these long-term situations. We need health care reform in this country. Health care insurances were brought about to be nonprofit organizations that help people that were sick. And they've become this big driving force with billions of dollars lining in their pockets, laughing all the way to bank. Maybe someone who worked for the insurance companies worked for the insurance company for years. And then when that something happened and they got sick or their family member got sick, the insurance company said, fuck you. Ha ha ha. We got your money. We're running with it. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. They're laughing at us. Everyone, they're laughing at all you guys. They're laughing to the bank. They love the healthy people who don't want to pay a national health care. Because if there was a national health care, those guys would be out of business. Not you can't you can't stay healthy and fine forever. Something will happen. If you think that the commercial insurance companies have your back, you're wrong. That system no longer works if it ever worked at all, which I doubt it did. Because it's just another way to get people's money. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Should uh, do that whole picture day every day thing that some people do. So you can see my head grow like a chia. Ch -ch -ch chia head. For now you get the hairless wonder. Alright well. Thanks for listening to me bitch about this. I feel that everybody else who knows what I'm talking about needs to stand up and bitch about this too and we need to keep bitching about it until they let us have proper health care. Alright guys, I'm done, check it out. If you have a Nintendo DS and you have not gotten Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars what are you waiting for?